So what does this add-on do? It's gonna allow you to individualize a unique version of the test per student or makeup test. You can make up a list of questions and you're gonna choose how many questions each student is gonna get and then it's gonna automatically generate those. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy. Now, as with all of my add-ons, it collects no user data. So just wait a little bit for all of the code to load. It's gonna load up there in the extensions menu. So I am in here and I'm gonna write my questions. Maybe a little lazy here. I'm just gonna make a whole batch of questions. So you're gonna put them here in column B and then on the student list, you're just gonna make a list of your students. And if you have their email address, you don't have to have their email address, but then you're gonna have to figure out how to share it with them. So if you put their email address in, they will be added, added as an editor. Uh, give them editing access, and it wouldn't give anybody else editing access. You could actually just share this entire spreadsheet with them, which is going to have the links in it. So I'm just going to put the email address. And I'm going to be lazy and give everyone the same email address. All right, cool. So I'm going to come up here to extensions, and you're going to find at the bottom, make me a test. And the first thing you have to do is authorize the add on. Now remember, collects no user data. You're only authorizing yourself. So even though it's gonna look a little scary, don't worry about it. It is only authorizing yourself access to your own documents. So you see here it says, see, edit, create, and delete all of your Google Docs. Only you and your own. So it, it is safe. Same for spreadsheets. It's only you and only your own. So go ahead and allow. Okay, so now that I have authorized it, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna create the documents. And what do I wanna name this? Semester final 2022. And how many questions? I want everyone to get seven questions, okay? And so that's all I have to do. I have to say how many questions they want and then they're all gonna show up here. So we can see that Bob has his own, says Bob, semester final. Now I'm waiting to click on these because as the code loads, it's gonna probably make all the documents first and add in the question second. So be patient for two, show all of the questions. Okay, everybody has their own version. So when I open this, I can see here is Bob's and he has seven different questions uh, that are in the Google Doc. And so you'll be able to create multiple versions and just share these with the students so they can fill it out and everybody has their own version.